Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to look into Amazon. What is the interview process of Amazon? How can you apply for Amazon? How many rounds are there in the interview process? What is the importance of DSA competitive coding development projects? All these questions I am going to answer in this particular video. So do watch the video till the very end and let's get started. First, we are going to look at how can you apply for the STE roles in Amazon. The first one is on campus. So if the company is coming into your campus, you can directly sit in the interviews of that particular company. Second one is job portal. Using the Amazon job portal, there will be openings posted in that particular job portal. You can look into it. You can see if you meet the eligibility criteria and you can apply directly from the Amazon job portal. The third one is through reference. Okay, you can contact your seniors who are placed in the Amazon. You can share your resumes with them. You can share your competitive coding profiles with them, not just with your seniors, but also you can use your LinkedIn contact for that. Fine. So competitive coding profiles, if you have them, the one who is referring you will also be confident that you will be able to clear the DSA route. And the fourth one is simply through hackathons and coding contests, which are held on different competitive coding websites like Hacker Earth or CodeShift. If you clear the hackathons or the coding contest, you get the opportunity to be interviewed by Amazon. So these are the four ways using which you can apply for the SDE roles in Amazon. Next, we are going to see what is the interview rounds, okay, what is the interview process and how to prepare for the interviews in Amazon. Now, let's look at the interview process. How many rounds are there? What you need to focus on? Let's look at all these points. Okay, so the first one will be an online coding round. In that, there will be three to four sections. First is a debugging section in which you will get some basic code, if else for loop type of course in which you need to debug and find the issues. There will be around seven questions, six to seven questions for 20 minutes. Next, uh, you will get two coding questions that you need to solve in 60 to 70 minutes. There will be easy to medium questions, uh, DSA based, standard DSA based questions or some variations of famous algorithms. Okay, no, uh, not like competitive coding type of questions, standard DSA questions will be there. Okay, third one is an aptitude part. So again, easy to medium aptitude, like uh, for example, you can get that uh, this uh, coding decoding type of questions, correct? This is a word, this word is coded into something else and then what the X will be coded into that type of coding decoding questions, easy to medium, nothing else. Fourth one can be a work style assessment round. This is based on Amazon leadership principles. You can see the Amazon leadership principles here. Fine. The link is also in the description below. Okay. Read the Amazon leadership principles. Okay. And remember them. There can be the questions on Amazon leadership principles in the interview rounds as well. Face to face interview rounds. Fine. This is the online round. Now, if you clear the online round and I hope you do clear the online round. Next, you will move on to the face-to-face -face interview rounds. There will be three, four face-to-face -face interview rounds. In those rounds, 90% to 99.5%, it will be data structure algorithm based. Fine. There can be some questions from OOPS as well and some project related questions depending on the interview, but 90 to 95% will be DSA and you can see the graph here. Fine. Moving forward now, in those interview rounds, you have to remember to be connected with the interviewer. Whatever question the interviewer is asking, whatever approach you are taking, it is a proof of approach, basic approach, fine. Discuss it with the interviewer. Take time to think on the optimized approach. Be open-minded, fine. Whatever the hint the interviewer is giving, think on that particular hint. Okay. Now, in those technical rounds, you need to remember also about the time complexities, the space complexities. You should be very aware and uh, very much co confident in these particular topics. Fine. Now moving forward, there will be HR round and uh, please read the interview experiences on online, at least 20 to 30 interview experiences for Amazon. Make a note of uh, what coding questions are asked in the interview experiences. It is written in the interview experiences, what type of HR questions are asked, what type of project based questions are asked, what type of theoretical questions are asked. Okay. This Exercise you need to do on your own because we are always more confident in our own research. Okay, if you research it on your own, 
you will be more confident in that particular research. So therefore, do this exercise on your own. Reading interview experiences is very beneficial, not just for Amazon, for any company interview preparation. Right? Because it gives you a very clear roadmap on what to learn and how to move forward. Okay, so this was about the interview processes and the interview rounds in the Amazon. Now, let's see some coding questions which are asked previously in the Amazon interview rounds. So this is the MyCode platform. The link is in the description as well. Okay, you can access the MyCode platform using that particular link. But here you can practice competitive coding questions, interview coding questions or practice by company questions. So you can see the cards are made for the company wise coding questions as well. And you can go to the interview coding questions and there also you can go and topic wise practice the questions. Fine. So we'll go to let's say link list and, and we will solve a question that is asked in Amazon. Fine. So this is a reorder list question. So let's see this particular question. It is previously being asked in Amazon. So here you are given a link list and you need to reorder it. How we need to reorder is that the first element, then the last element, the second element, the second last element, the third element, the third last element and so on. The variation of this question can be the last element, then first element, second last element, then second element and so on. Okay, that can be a variation of this question. We must do this in, in place without using any extra space and the expected time complexity is order of n. Okay, so let's try to solve this particular question. Fine. So let's suppose we have a linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Fine. And now we need to reorder it so that our final output will be something like 1, 6, first and the last node, second and the second last node, and third and the third last node. This should be my final output. Correct? How we can solve this particular question? How we can approach this particular question? So first thing, uh, we know that we cannot use any extra space. Okay, if we could have used an, an extra space, it might be a little easier question. But right now, we cannot use any extra space. Okay, so we need the first element and the last element. And since it is a single link list, it's not like we can just point the first element, point the last element. Okay, and then we can move the pointer front from here and reverse from here. It will simply work out, but it is not a doubly linked list. It's a single linked list, so we cannot work it like this. Fine. So we need to think on something else. So let's see the output. To get this output, if we can do something like this, like one, two, three, and we can have another list, the same list in two parts, four, five, six. If you could do something like this, then point one pointer to this one and one pointer to this four. Okay. Then we have the first element okay we can traverse this till the last element okay we have we can have one pointer at, at the last element and one pointer at the second last element fine now what you can do is you can simply change the pointers so one will now point to six and six can point to two and what you can do is this after the second last element you can make null so you can redu uh, remove this particular link fine now our pointer will move to 2 in the first list and in this here we will start again from the head one, the first 4 and then we move to the last element this is the last element 5 now and this is the second last element now 2 will be connected with 5 and 5 will be connected with 3 now our head pointer moves again in the first list that is moving to 3 and here we will have 4 this is already the last element so simply 3 will get connected to 4 and 4 will get connected to null because this is null and we'll have our answer this is one of the way to do it so you can discuss this way with the interviewer if the interviewer agrees with you then fine you can code it out if he says there is some other way you need to think out some other way so let's see one more part so what we are doing is we if we have one two three and four five six we are dividing the list into two parts we were always traversing till the end because we needed one and six okay then we go for the second last element because we need two and five then we go for third last element that is we need three and four that means we need these in the reverse order so why not simply reverse the list so one two three and six five four if we have this then it becomes pretty simple now we just need to connect one to six six to two then two to five and then five to three and then three to four fine now so if we have a 
the link list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First, you need to find the midpoint of it. To find the midpoint, you can use the slow and the fast pointers that approach to directly get the midpoint. Okay. So you will have a head one, which is nothing but 1, 2, 3. Okay. And you will have a slow of next. The head two will be nothing but uh, slow of next for the midpoint. And the head two will be connected to 4, 5, 6. The next step is to reverse this particular list. Okay, so the next function you will call passing the head 2 and you will reverse this particular list. So the head 2 will become 654. And after you reverse this particular list, now you have head 2 as 654. Head 1 is 1, 2, 3. Now it's simple. The process is you just need to change the pointers. If you have practiced a lot of English questions, this is a very easy process. If you have not, please practice it. Please think how you can change the pointers from one to another. Fine. And this is what you need to tell to the interviewer x well and then implement the same process okay so in this question you need a small algorithm that is slow fast pointer to find the middle point of a linked list which is a separate question in itself here you also need knowledge of how to reverse a linked list which is again a separate question in itself fine these two questions logic is being used in this particular question that's why this question is a good question fine so let's see one more question which is asked uh, in the amazon interview process now Let's see one more question, which is asked in Amazon previous rounds. Fine. So this question here is a check mirror tree question. Okay, mirror reflection. That you are given two trees. Fine. And you need to print yes, print true. If the trees are mirror to one another, else false if the trees are not mirror to one another. What do you mean by mirror? That uh, the left subtree of the one tree should be equal to the right subtree of the another tree correct okay you can see here uh, 5 and 5 root it will be same then this 4 3 2 is in the right side and it has reversed it has in the mirror image 4 2 3 similarly 1 6 7 has reversed it has gone to the left side and it has become 1 7 6 okay so let's see how we can approach this particular question so uh, if you see here uh, what is the first thing that will come to mind that root should be same first of all the roots are same correct and if we traverse uh, and we see level by level, an approach can come to mind that, okay, if I store what is there in the left tree, let's say this is the left tree and this is the right tree, okay, or let's say this tree 1 and this is tree 2, okay, so whatever is there at level 1, in tree 1, I will store this in an array, in a vector, in any array list, depending on your language, fine, and I will store what is in level 1 of t 2 and I will compare the reverse of it. Okay, if the reverse of whatever is stored in level 1 of T1 is true with level 2 of T2, then it's fine. I will move to the next level. Then you will store 3, 2, 6, 7 in one array and you will store 7, 6, 2, 3 in another array. So if the reverse is compared, after reversing, if you compare, both of them are same. That means this is also fine. Okay, you will go level by level every time storing it inside uh, the arrays and comparing it. Fine. If till the last level, every time it is true, that means the tree is mirror, else it is not. Okay. So first we'll store 5 and 5, which are true. Then we'll store 4, 1 in one array and 1, 4 in another array. Let's reverse this. It will become 4, 1. So they are also same. So it is also true. Then we'll store 3, 2, 6, 7 in one array and 7, 6, 2, 3 in another array. We'll reverse this out. It will get 3, 2, 6, 7. So they are also same. If there is more levels, go to more levels and repeat the process. So this is the one of uh, the approach that can come to your mind. Okay, uh, using level order traversal, you can do this. Let's see one more approach. This approach is recursion based approach. Most of the interviewers will be looking forward to this approach because if they're asking a tree question, that means they also want to test your recursion knowledge as most of the tree questions will be solved using recursion itself. So by the definition of the mirror tree, we can solve this question pretty easily. So the root should be same. So the root one should be equal to the root two. Correct? Root should be same. The left part of a root of root one should be equal to the right subtree of root two. Fine. So let's suppose we have here five and we have here four. So left of five in the tree one should be equal to the right of 5 of tree 2. Similarly, 
द राइट ऑफ फाइव ऑफ ट्री वन शुड बी इक्वल टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ फाइव ऑफ ट्री टू फाइन सो आफ्टर दिस इज ओवर दैट रूट वन डॉट डेटा इक्वल टू रूट टू डॉट डेटा एंड ऑपरेशन यू हैव टू कीप दैट यू कैन से द रूट वन ऑफ लेफ्ट ओके एंड इफ यू पास रूट टू डॉट लेफ्ट इन द रिकर्जन फंक्शन नॉट टू टू डॉट लेफ्ट बट टू टू डॉट राइट इन द रिकर्जन फंक्शन then these two should also be equal and in the recursion function when we pass root 1 dot right and root 2 dot left this should be equal fine so if these three conditions are true that means this is this is true this recursion function also returns true this recursion function also returns true then that means it's a mirror tree correct you can simply write a return statement that return true or false depending on the and then condition what will be the base conditions here that obviously if both the roots are null if root 1 is also null and root 2 is also null correct then obviously we have no other nodes left so return true fine if any one of the node is not null that means it cannot be a mirror tree okay if one node is null another is not null it cannot be a mirror tree in that case return false so how the pseudo code will look like is that if we will have a function okay uh, recursion function it can have a root 1 and root 2 nodes fine here if uh, root 1 equal to equal to null and root 2 equal to equal to null in that particular scenario we will return true okay return true else if uh, this is a such pseudo code so i am not uh, writing properly okay r should be small e should be small just a pseudo code okay just for explanation if root 1 is not equal to null and root 2 is equal to null fine or root 1 equal to equal to null and root 2 is not equal to null in that case we have to return false fine else we can simply return if root 1 dot data equal to equal to root 2 dot data if this is true okay and and uh, when we pass in the function root 1 dot left and root 2 dot right okay this should be returning true and in the function uh, root 1 dot right and root 2 dot left this should be returning true if all these three things are true then only it will return true else it will return false so this is a pseudo code for the same using recursion of the mirror tree okay so these were the questions i wanted to discuss in this particular video okay you can check more questions on the my code platform okay i have already shared the link in the description box below so we have covered everything we needed to cover for the amazon interview process okay if you have any suggestion if you want to ask anything please comment down below if you want us to cover more such videos for more companies please comment the name of the companies in the comment section if you have liked the video please do like share and subscribe uh, to the prepbytes youtube channel for more such content thank you